I'm Dr. Dasina Fergie, Ni Bingarab. I'm a lecturer and a early career researcher in the School of Nursing, Midwifery and Paramedicine here on the St. Patrick's campus in Melbourne. I'm an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander and Ambonese woman and our ancestors came from Wutiti country in Cape York, Mabiork Island in the Torres Straits and Ambon in Indonesia. For a number of years while I was working out in the Yarra Valley as the Aboriginal Health Team Coordinator, on my days off I would come in and do sessional teaching at various universities but I noticed with this particular university, Australian Catholic University, a real difference in just the environment of the place. It seemed very peaceful and there was a spirituality about it that was very different or absent in the other universities. And I felt that this could be a place that I would thrive in and I felt culturally safe in. And I had seen this advertisement for an Indigenous staff research scholarship at Australian Catholic University and I thought that I would apply. Over the last five years I've completed that study successfully and now I'm a full-time staff member uh, with ACU. My nursing research was on Victorian Aboriginal women's postnatal depression. I'm very thankful to ACU because they gave me the opportunity to do this PhD, otherwise I would not have. Not only that, but they've given me an opportunity to, uh, to teach Aboriginal health. And I think that's really important in terms of getting our health workers culturally uh, sensitive to Aboriginal uh, people who really don't access the health system. It's really important for us to have Indigenous researchers because we have a different worldview to Western knowledge. One day I was at a, what's called a Kuri Maternity Forum that was investigating the possibility of, of going to government and, and saying there is a huge issue of perinatal depression within the Aboriginal community. They were coming around and asking uh, if the screening tool was relevant for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander uh, women. And that started the ball rolling for me because it needs to be culturally flexible and appropriate for our women. And that started me thinking about, well, this really needs further investigation. And therefore, government, you really need to, if we're wanting to close the gap, you need to hear from community what community is saying. So I'm a recognised elder here, having been working in the community for quite a while. And so I went out on fieldwork and I pulled my caravan around Victoria to find women who had undergone postnatal depression and I interviewed them. One of the issues I found was that Aboriginal women were voiceless when it came to the rest of society knowing uh, what the issues are. So through my, the research and the interviews, I found that these resilient women were feeling stronger and they were making their voices heard. So what I found in my thesis, I'm hoping to explore that more with the government and say, these are what women are recommending. One of the things that was really supportive to me here at ACU was this Indigenous unit here called Jimbaya. Anyone thinking of coming through, if they have a, a desire to do further study, I would encourage them to come because we would provide them with support. Wonderful year 2016 has been for me. I had completed my PhD and I was inducted into the Victorian Honour Roll of Women. And more recently I became a Fellow of the Congress of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander and, uh, Nurses and Midwives. I turned 63 this year and we had our fourth grandchild. So it's been a huge year for, for me. And I've just had news that I have won a Churchill uh, Fellowship. And I hope to go all around the world going to Indigenous nations to find out the relationship between their intergenerational uh, trauma through colonisation and culture and how they have managed to uh, rejuvenate a sense of belonging and identity within their communities because we know that the health disparities are just huge in all Indigenous nations. 
PhD studies, any postgraduate studies is really, really hard. But I think that if you have a passion, one for our own people, and seeing the needs out there, and you know it, that needs to be expressed somehow in a place of influence, and academia is one of them. Well, you can see by my grey hair that I haven't got long uh, left, and so one of my jobs here is to influence um, the curriculum in putting Indigenous perspectives in the curriculum. It's just very much like this basket where we have been brought up with Aboriginal knowledge. And what happened was that Aboriginal ways of doing things was superseded. We were imposed by colonialism. And we want to change that. We want to identify that there are two ways, particularly in the uh, tertiary education, where we need to um, have people come through in order to find jobs. And so we have an important place in highlighting the knowledge that's out there amongst our people, making us proud to identify with our culture and the knowledge that has been passed on to us from our ancestors on whose shoulders we stand.